you have to qualify, what kind of grade would you give yourself? Uh, I got through an A. So it's either an A or an F in this situation, I think. Um, yeah, I was able to stay relaxed until two laps to go and then just strung it out a little bit. Um, I knew we were going to be somewhat close to the time qualifiers and uh, I knew Josh, Josh has a, he's got a good kick, but he's also had a really good altitude camp, so um, I was pretty sure that whatever I did, he could handle, and I just wanted to give him a good chance of making the final, and fortunately he fell, but um, yeah, I made it through, so an A, I guess. Did you get a chance to talk to him after? Yeah, just very, very briefly. Um, he said, uh, one of the guys was, he kind of just got over in front of him right before the last barrier and it kind of just threw him off and he had to adjust either going over the barrier or just before the barrier and it just kind of threw him off um, and he must have hit it and went down and I mean he was still like eighth or ninth and um, so he, he would have he's and he's got wheels too so he would have been right there uh, so it's unfortunate but um, I think uh, definitely going to be a learning experience for him. Do you ever think this would be a good <coughs> year of doing an event other than the steeple at USA? Mm. <coughs> yeah, I thought about it. Um, I would double up, I think, for sure, because um, I definitely have some, some pride in uh, the consecutive yeah. titles that I've won, so I would like to keep that going. So. Um, if I did do something else, it would be probably after the steeple, and uh, the steeple has just been on Sunday afternoon uh, the last few years, and uh, there's not really an opportunity to do, to do anything else. Um, I think the only other thing I could do would be like 10K and then have basically with the prelim um, two days rest before the final, but that would be pretty tough. Yeah. Um, I would love to be able to do like steeple uh, Thursday, Saturday, and then 5K final one year, but um, I'm not gonna make a big stink about it to get them to change the, the schedule uh, to do that, um, unless I feel like I'm in insane fitness and I am pretty confident in getting top three in, in both. Uh, so, but yeah, I'll just stick with the steeple until, um, so it makes sense, I think. Because if you win on Sunday, I think it would be seven in a row. And Henry Marsh had seven in a row in the 80s. I don't know if you're aware of that. Yeah, or like the significance yeah, yeah, for sure. I'm yeah. aware. Uh, yeah, it's been a, a goal of mine pretty much since I started steepling. Um, see how many we can make it in a row. And um, yeah, I don't, I don't think I'm going to stop doing the steeple um, unless it really, really makes sense to do something else. Um, I still love the event. I'm enjoying it. Um, I'm enjoying the challenge of it. Um, my body is still holding up to the, to the beating. So, um, yeah, I, I would like to try doubling up, um, but like it obviously doesn't make sense this year. So uh, there's no point in trying to go for broke and lose both. Yeah, now, I hope you'll permit me a kind of silly question, but uh, yeah, go for it. I think I've noticed this year you've been going with the half tights as opposed to the shorts. I'm wondering mm. where the decision comes from. I have one pair of race day shorts right now, so uh, I just wanted to save them for the final, oh, okay. go half tights for the prelim and um, just keep them clean until the final. Man, we gotta tell Nike, they got an Olympic medal. Well, Jerry, Jerry's got a huge box of extras in his, in his uh, garage he just wanted to make sure everyone got a pair so he's holding out on he he is holding out yeah <laughs> <laughs> laundry, laundry day yeah. yeah i mean how do you stay you mentioned saying motivated like at this championship going for the streak obviously but mm -hmm. coming in as such a, a big favorite how do you how do you continue to kind of hone in and focus on um you? i don't know some some years it's been tougher than others um this year i've I don't know. I've just, uh, I think, just been super excited about, like, even though it is an off year, I've been really excited about um, staying motivated for this this race and uh, in Monaco and 
um, just like I said, taking pride in, in the streak that I have. Uh, it, it almost adds more pressure each year because uh, I know everyone's looking at me and I'm sure everyone would love to end the streak if they could and um, so the, the longer it keeps going uh, I, I just have a little more sense of pressure on myself and uh, that just keeps me motivated. Mm -hmm. It sounds like Monaco where you want to, in the place of a championship, that's where you want to sort of keep for the year? Yeah, that's, that's been a really big focus. Um, we've kind of pinpointed it um, in the fall, winter. Uh, that's going to be the big focus because, yeah, there's no championships. So um, what really motivates you in an off year? And uh, for me, it's... Um, having like getting rid of the pressure of the championships and just having fun and um, like just pushing my body as hard as I can to see how fast I can get and um, get to Monaco show up on the line and, and try to hit a big one sub eight on your mind yeah for sure <laughs> I mean, would you yeah I know you'd rather have both I mean but if, if you could like win the Diamond League or finish second no. but get a sub eight would you rather I would rather finish sub eight at this point um, I won Monaco last year and it was really cool but um, I was I was more upset with missing breaking eight than I was excited about winning um, especially because I mean, Kinsesilis wasn't there, McKissy wasn't there, Albacali wasn't there. It was, it was a little bit lower key of a, of a race. And um, yeah, uh, I mean, now that I've won a Diamond League race, there's there's one big box left uh, unchecked, and um, that's for sure what I'm thinking of. Cool. All right. Thanks, Evan. Thanks yeah. very much.